What's up YouTube fam and welcome back to yet another video. Alright, so it's been a little while since we've come across each other. There's been a lot of changes happening over the last couple of months. So let's give you guys an update. Alright, so at the start of the year I got approached by a guy who um, runs a couple of shops through here in Edinburgh. And after coming to view the shops and see the quality of work that he puts out, which is top grade, um, I just couldn't say no. So here we are at our new location through an Edinburgh morning side. Welcome to Langley's. straight into today's video. We've got a nice pair of Christian Louboutin red bottom sole gent shoes. So for these what we're going to be doing is popping on some red mirror Casali soles. So we're going to pop on a half sole on the top here. We're going to paint the heel just to get that red colour back in there and give the uppers a good little tidy up. Alright guys so you know what to do. Stay tuned to see how it turns out. on the last so we've got our Casali mirror sole what we're going to do now is just pop it above where the Christian Louboutin logo is on the sole here with them being designer shoes it's all about the name so we want to try and keep that logo there if we can and we totally can so what I've done is I've curved this sole so that you can get a nice little design on the bottom there instead of it being straight and boring and we're going to go ahead and just score a little mark for where we're going to cut out Okay, so we've got our mark in place, we're just going to get our blade and we're just going to cut along that line that I've just made. So we've got our mark made, now we're just going to use the rough band on the machine and we're just going to rough up all this leather ready for some gold. glue on now. So with it being leather we're going to pop on one coat of glue, allow that to dry, come back five to ten minutes later and we'll pop on a second coat just for a little bit extra protection. With it just being a stick on sole there's no stitching involved, we don't really want it to peel up so a double layer of glue always really helps out with that. We pop glue on the sole guard as well, on the Casali mirror sole, but these come pre-treated so we don't have to rough them up on the machine. We just stick the glue on and we're all good to go. 
That's our glue reactivated, stove's nice and hot, ready to be stuffed down. Alright guys, so our, our soles are on, our edges are all blackened, so now we're going to be doing some little care to the upper, so we're going to be popping on some sapphire polish on the toe cap, with this being leather, the rest of it's suede and canvas kind of material, so we're just going to be working on the front toe cap and pop some on the sides of the heel area. So we've got a really nice product from Saphir, it's a black shoe cream, the shine you get off of these is fantastic. I've never seen anything like it. So we're just going to pop a wee bit on the here and we're just going to work that into the tool there. And on our heel block we're just going to run some around there as well. Five minutes and we're going to come back and we're going to brush that off with a nice horsehair brush to that nice high shine. All right guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, so now we're going to paint the heel. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to pop on a little bit of tape along the rubber part just so we don't get any extra paint where we don't want it to be. And then we're just going to use a smooth band on the machine and we're just going to lightly take off the top coat in here. There is a lot of dents in here from when they've been walking, been walking on top of stones and stuff like that. So. We're not really going to be able to get right down to the dents because we're really going to have to sand a lot off to do that. So we're just going to do a we sand on the surface area, clean that up, and then we should be good to get some red paint on there. Some sandpaper here, so we're just going to sort of smooth out a little bit extra on the top here. So we've got a nice base to work with, so the color, the color should stick to it pretty well. This is what we're going to be using: some Angelus walk-on red paint. It's a very, very close match to what we've got. So we're just going to apply that on with a sponge. We're going to do one little coat over, let it dry, and then we'll put another coat on. And then once that's done, we're going to seal that with some neutral polish and mirror shine gloss, just to add some shine and light back into it. It is quite a dull colour when you put it on first, so you do need to sort of buff it up with some neutral polishes after, just to get that shine back in. Here as 
well. Okay, mostly dry now, so we're just going to be popping on some Saphir mirror gloss now, just to give a nice shine to the heel and the waist area. Pop on a couple of coats of this, allow it to dry, buff it off. Another coat, allow it to dry, buff it off. Probably another coat, allow it to dry and buff it off, and then we should be good with a high shine. Alright guys, so that's us done on another project. These Christian Louboutins came in pretty trashed, now they're leaving super tasty. Alright, so for this job what we chose was the Red Shine Casali Mirror Soles. And we also sanded and repainted the heels just to get that red colour back in there, just the way these shoes are meant to look. We've uh, popped in some conditioning and shining in front of the toe cap there. And we've uh, brushed up the suede pile using some suede brushes. Alright guys, so as always, thank you so much for checking it out. Hope you like the new digs. It's a great atmosphere to work in, beautiful street to work in, and great people to work with. So it's only going to get better from here. And some of the work that we're getting in is really high grade, high end shoes. So stay tuned for some future videos and full restorations like the stuff that I know you guys like to see. So yeah, drop a little comment, let me know what you think about the job. If you guys haven't already, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Alright guys, so until the next one, I've been Cobbler G, you've been Legends, peace.